Hey, I'd like to welcome you to another episode of the Mission Matters Marketing Podcast, your source for all things marketing. My name is Adam Torres. You can follow me on Instagram at Ask Adam Torres. Keep up with my book releases, book tour schedule, signings, all that other good stuff. Always love to connect with you there. And as always, if you'd like to apply to become a co-author of one of my upcoming books, just head on over to the website, missionmatters.com, and click on Become an Author to Apply. All right, so today I have Jordan Bestgrim on the line, and she's owner and also a social electrician over at Bestgrim Media. Uh, Jordan, welcome to the show. Hey, guys. How's it going? Thanks so much for having me, Adam. Oh, man. So I'm excited to get into uh, some of our topic today, which is, you know, the importance of picking a niche. Should you pick one? Should you not pick one? I know you have some uh, ideas on that. But before we do, uh, let's go a little bit further into what you're doing over at Best Grim Media. Tell us a little bit more about the company, please. Yeah, absolutely. So essentially what we do, um, you know, we're we're a social electrician for your business. So essentially we instill, you know, your brand image and we kind of create still be your vision, essentially. We want you to really come into the market and really explore what your overall stance can be because it's so important for people to know exactly who you are, what you are, and how and you can do for them. So essentially, people are always going to, you know, be remembered of how you, how you make them feel. So if you if you can provide them something that is going to not only present something to them, but it's an overall kind of social, lovely circle per se. That's awesome. Um, what are the um, what? Just so the people listening know, um, what are the right types of fit to, typically for um, for Beskar Media? I mean, type of client? Is there a specific niche? Um, tell us a little bit more about that, please. What's great about what we do for our clients is we're very we're very broad. We can you know we. We touch pretty much every type of market because that's the that's the glory of being you know within the social game now mm-hmm. is it's it's to everybody and so what it really comes down to is we really break down who your demographic is and who you're actually wanting to speak to and who your business actually is and once we're able to provide that and actually when we find your why and their why we're actually find you know we find something that's very synergistic and that's where the electricity really just is insane and you can find something really special within all of it because it just becomes something incredibly unique and i think that's a great um a great transition so let's uh let's get uh, more into you know the importance of picking a niche versus not i mean what are your thoughts on this because i've heard both arguments yes so this is where it gets fun because you're able to really present yourself in a few different ways to where you're not only aligning yourself to everybody, but that everybody is actually one person. So if you're actually able to find your niche in the way that you can present something and actually give them a reason to find out what their purpose is or why they need to do something or why that's fun or why that's unique or what gives them their difference, I think that's what kind of sets everyone apart. And I think with everybody being so inundated with the social landscape, it's really important to show who you are within that niche. And I think it's very easy for everyone to get kind of, it gets a little muddy and it gets a little gray because we kind of get put in these particular roles. Well, everyone's doing this. I have to be this way. Well, I think it's important, especially now, we have to show the difference because that's what makes you unique and that's what's going to make sure people continue to come back to you. It's a get, keep, have. If you get customers, you're going to keep them, which equals having them. And so you kind of have to have all those very synergistic in that way. Um, but it's very important that you show your niche and you show your difference because the only person that is, you know, going to be important Uh, enough to show what you can do is you. And so if you can find that and present that in that way, um, it's very, very poignant what you could do in their landscape. Mm. And so, you know, let's say that you're a business owner listening to this right now and you're thinking to yourself, okay, I think I found my niche. I think I have my right. Uh, There's a lot of different words, avatar, my target client, all these other things. Yes, Um, absolutely. What's the next step for them? What would you say is the next step once they've kind of defined that? Once you've defined it, it's kind of how how do you want to present yourself within the market? Do you want to mm. be do you want to tiptoe in it? 
Do you want to kind I mean, of you gotta, dabble? I, I, what I'm looking for is how do we get that ele- that electricity going, Jordan? Exactly. So that's it, it all is, you know, especially now, too, it's also a pay to play. So you have mm-hmm. to find a common ground where you're paying, but you're also playing in the sense of you're getting your, your organic customer because that's what's mm-hmm. going to continue to, to, to keep you electrified. And so essentially what it is, it's, it's digging in. You dig in, you find your customer, and you just keep giving them what they want and vice versa. And, and it's about engagement. I cannot stress this enough. Um, just because you have a social platform does not mean you post something and you let it ride. You have to engage with people. This is the whole purpose of learning and a community. So if you want people to learn and have, you have to kind of provide that. And, and, and we want it back, you know, and, and vice versa. So if we're going to ask questions, we want the answers, and we want to be asked questions too. It's very much a give and take. It's very much a relationship, and that's what's really cool about how I think the, the social, you know, spectrum continues to grow in that manner. Man, that's exciting. Um, so, Jordan, if somebody's listening to this and they want more information on Best Grim Media or to connect, I mean, what's the best way for them to reach out? Absolutely. You can um, get me on all, of course, your social media landscape platforms. I'm kind of all over the place, which is wonderful. But my main two, which is the easiest, um, is, of course, Facebook at JJ Bestgram or even Instagram at JJ Bestgram. But I'm also at Best Grim Media at Facebook as well. And we are, you know, just kind of everywhere as well. So. What a cool name, JJ Bestgram. I'm like, I got Adam Torres. You sound so cool. Oh, <laughs> you, thank you're, you. You're branded with it. Come on, you're branded. That's not fair. <laughs> That's I awesome. love it. You know, it's really interesting. I was born a born a best, married a grim, and there was no <laughs> I was way... waiting for it. I was waiting. Yeah. I knew you had it. <laughs> Absolute. There was no way I could ever get rid of best. So what's great about it? It's very yin and yang, and so I take that kind of with every with my, you know, with my life. And so I'm branded with a yin and yang type of situation. So that's what we're all with. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. Well, hey, Jordan, it's been great having you on the show today. Um, appreciate you coming on and sharing some of your tips for our business owners and me on, uh, you know, nich- niching down or versus not. Um, and to the audience, as always, thank you for tuning in. Hope you got a lot of value out of this. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to the podcast. Uh, leave me a review on the Apple iTunes store. If you're watching this on our YouTube channel, Mission Matters Marketing, definitely give us a subscribe there, but also um, leave us some comments in the video. Let us know what you thought about it and what kind of things you got going on. And uh, Jordan, thanks again for coming on the show.